हेलो वेलकम एवरी वन आई एम जमीर शेख फैकल्टी ऑफ केमिस्ट्री फ्रॉम श्री शिवाजी कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस अकोला टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वन ऑफ द फंडामेंटल टॉपिक इन केमिस्ट्री दैट इज़ द शेप्स ऑफ इनऑर्गेनिक मालिकूल्स दैट कम्स एंड द कैटेगरी ऑफ वी एस सी पी आर थ्योरी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ए मॉलिकूल हैव ए पर्टिकुलर शेप हैव ए specific shape okay and that shape can be explained with the help of so many different theories so first of all why the molecules are formed so some elements are always monoatomic for example we have halogen fam the noble gas family helium neon etc they always are exist in the monoatomic system but many of the elements they form a molecule ओके एंड नाउ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉलिकुलर शेप्स पर्टिकुलरली फ्रॉम पी ब्लॉक्स सो बिकॉज देर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ वॉट मॉलिकुल्स आर देर ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिकुल्स इन ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिकुल्स ओके कॉर्डिनेशन मॉलिकुल्स एक्सेट्रा बट वी विल फोकस ऑन ए स्पेसिफिक टाइप्स ऑफ वॉट मॉलिकुल दैट इज एन फ्रॉम पर्टिकुलरली फ्रॉम पी ब्लॉक दैट इज एन कॉल एंड कंपाउंड और कॉल एंड मॉलिकुल्स ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो वट इज द इंट्रोडक्टिव पार्ट ऑफ दिस हाउ टू एक्सप्लेन दैट शेप्स पर्टिकुलरली यू नो दैट ए मॉलिकूल्स आर फॉर्म बाय दी वॉट मिक्सिंग ऑफ एटम्स ओके इफ यू मिक्स दी एटम्स पर्टिकुलरली एंड यू गेट द मॉलिकूल्स सो इन अदर वे वी कैन सिंपल से दैट मिक्सिंग ऑफ एटामिक ऑर्बिटल ऑफ देयर सेम एनर्जी ओके एंड दे प्रोड्यूस द मॉलिकूल्स ना वॉट एग्जैक्टली द मिक्सिंग ऑफ मिक्सिंग ऑफ ऑर्बिटल्स मीन्स वॉट so there is a mixing of what or the sharing particularly which is takes place uh, in, with their share electron or valence electron and then to form a molecule uh, so look at the example of our hydrogen molecule so simple hydrogen is an 1s1 when it is combined with other hydrogen so there is a formation of an h2 molecule so why why we need why need to hydrogen get form a h2 molecule so basically that hydrogen is a 1s1 it is an incomplete okay there is a no full electrons are present that is that there should be a requirement is two electron so there is only one electron is present so that's why hydrogen is easily combined with other element we have same energy okay same overlap or same side symmetry then and then bond will be very strong so there is a formation of a hydrogen molecule so in this way every element if you want to get stabilized by follow the octet as well as duplet rule it will be combined with other element and on the basis of valency we can make a molecule so in generally in every molecule okay or in a molecule but we are again talking about the p block system so there are two types of what electron pairs are there one is called the lone pairs second is called what the bond pair so what about the bond pair now a bond pair is nothing but a pair of electron which are present in the what the between the two nuclei okay so or two atom or the two electron or the electron pair which is hold by what two nuclei and lone pair is nothing but the pair of electron which is hold by only one nucleus or only one atom okay so you can just imagine in bond pair two atom hold two electron or in another way two proton are involved in two electron system so basically it is one of the stable system okay while in a lone pair so there is only one atom is present and there are two pair of two, there are two electrons are there so basically it is an unstable region so bond pair is always you can called the stable which causes the less repulsion in a molecule while the lone pair present in a molecule they causes the more repulsion and it will always occupy the more area okay that's a very simple phenomena so to explain that uh, the structure shape okay bond angle geometry special in p block system so we have this theory which is developed by nylon and jelowski that is called valence shell electron pair repulsion theory that is also called what the vscpr okay no doubt there are other theories are there to explain the bonding structure and bonding in uh, other molecules but we are again strictly uh, with the p block that's why we are called the vscpr okay let's uh, begin with the another part so this is a overlook of this theory vscpr and these are the particular shapes of what molecules are produced now what is the theory particular we see most of the postulates of this theory now if this theory is developed in 1957 which is a model particularly just like the lewis dot model the, it is an one of you can call the expansion of that lewis dot model okay and that explain the individual shapes of that molecule so this theory is the expansion of our levy structure and according to this theory now there are very simple postulates are there a molecule is considered as a sphere molecule is what considered as a sphere and it uh, consists of a central centrally located an atom and the remaining atoms should be the bonded to the central atom so basically the molecule is just considered as a sphere 
okay and there must be a center okay and from which there are all other bonded atoms should be connected with that the center now. now what is the arrangement of that bonded atom so the bonded atom nothing but your the pair of electron they should be arranged in a such a way that there should be a minimize the repulsion okay and that's why we are always making such a type of an arrangement where the bond pair should be away from each other okay uh, we are just talking about the bond pair only if anywhere lone pair is present it will occupy the more area and bond pair will be further from each other because they causes the more repulsion so uh, according to that so this is a generalized or this is the conclusion from this theory so bond pair bond pair repulsion is always list because it's one of the stable region then what the lone pair bond pair okay which is least than what the lone pair lone pair so whenever in a molecule lone pairs are present the molecule get distorted okay the molecule have the what the a, there is no regular shape is present now moving to the hybridization now. what is hybridization now? it's a mixing process so mixing and recasting of the atomic orbitals okay from having what the same size same energy and overlap that will produce what the atom, molecular orbitals and that is nothing but the hybridization so uh, in general you want the hybridization nothing but the number of bond pairs okay plus number of lone pairs if you count the number of bond pair plus lone pair in a molecule that number should be equivalent to your hybridization whether it is sp sp2 sp3 etc etc or we can also be find out that the number of sigma bond pair okay number of sigma bond we can also call the number of sigma bond plus number of lone pair okay that also we call hybridization whatever the number is coming from that so that will be uh, according to that we can find out the structure so basically there is no rule of pi bond because pi bonds are a non-directional nature that's why they cannot decide the geometry of the molecule so in a vsc pair only we are talking about the bond pair or about the sigma sigma bond okay not about the uh, pi bond okay like that so if the sum of the number if the sum of the number is two for example bond pair lone pair or simply bond pair so then there should be the hybridization in sp and the geometry should be linear okay if it is a three then it is an sp2 geometry should be triangular planar if it is a four then sp3 that is a an tetrahedral should be the geometry if it is a 5 then sp3d is a hybridization and geometry should be tbp that is trigonal bipyramidal okay it should be the bi then if it is 6 number then what if uh, then it is 6 it is an sp3d2 so that is 1s 3p and 2d so number should be 6 and that should be equivalent to an octahedral geometry should be octahedral and now last one is a 7 that is sp3d3 that is pentagonal bipyramidal again so basically these are the six different types of what hybridization present generally in the what p-block system from starting from sp and end with what the sp3 d3 okay we have only one or s orbital we have three orbitals of p and we have uh, under after that we are d generally we are participate d 2d orbital okay now how to find out so there is a very simple technique very simply quick, we can quickly find uh, identify uh, what is the hybridization what will be the structure what will be the shape of that given molecule okay but you must ima uh, look at this, this all the points now so how to find out the bond pair and lone pair in a given molecule so in a molecule if uh, only bond pairs are present so then such a molecule is favor regular geometry always all have the word equal bond angles okay uh, the following are the possible hybridization it means there is a no lone pair and hence they all are said to be what they uh, can call the regular shape shift okay so these are the different types of what geometries present in a molecule but i'm just uh, point out so the regular one so this is sp this is sp2 this is sp3 that is state triad this is sp3d that is trigonal bipyramid and this is sp3 d2 in in this uh, point pointed out that uh, hybridization which is mentioned in the circle they all have the other regular geometry okay so whenever only bond pair so there is a less repulsion so the structure should be regular so how to find out the bond pair and lone pair in a given molecule for that you must know the valence configuration of the p block system we have six groups in the p block starting from brown family and which is end with the what the uh, the uh, halogen the noble gases particularly so now so these are the valence electrons from particularly where first group second group 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 okay and similarly so there is again a, uh, that below there is a mention that in green color there is a valence configuration in first two group 1s1 and 1s2 that is an ns1 ns2 so that's why the valence should be 1 and 2 so now let's move toward the right side that is 13 to end with the 18 now 13 group that is boron family ns2 is common for all and np1 np2 np3 np4 np5 and np6 in that again we are mentioned that so there is a 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are the valence electron from the p block okay 3 4 5 6 7 8 and similarly so there is a last row okay at the last end of the slide we are mentioned that uh, valency the valency of first and second group elements are always 1 and 2 while the valences of from 13 group to what the 18 group there is a 3 4 3 2 1 0 that is only highest for what the carbon 
so basically what from boron carbon nitrogen oxygen halogen and what uh, the uh, noble gas the always valence is what the first uh, increases up to 4 and then decreases but okay just consider that uh, nitrogen and phosphorus in nitrogen there is no d orbitals are present that's why it always have the trivalency and maintain the trivalent system but in phosphorus there is a formation of what pentavalent also hexavalences okay so the reason behind that there is a vacant d orbitals are present okay you must know that uh, these are the some reason why nitrogen can form only three bond why than phosphorus okay phosphorus can make three also phosphorus can make five also because of the vacant d orbital okay that is the reason behind it okay now i just picked uh, some rules to identify very quickly to uh, the shapes or hybridization of that molecule and if you know that hybridization of that molecule and all that so you will be more happier you will solve any type of the examples any type of what the question particularly regarding to what the vscpr okay so first of all look at the molecule the molecule is obviously from because vscpr is applicable to only p block so that's why molecule should be belong to what your p system so identify the central atom okay for a given molecule first look at to the central atom and find out the valence configuration after find out the valence configuration okay that valence electron configuration should be equal to number of crosses okay you just make the crosses crosses cross if it is a boron then we have to make the three crosses because valence electron is what three similarly okay now the valence electrons are must be share with the bonded atom depending upon the valence okay so the whatever the number of valence electron from the central central ion central atom so that make the first crosses okay we will see the example again that will be more clarified okay so first of all look at the central atom then find out the valence electron make the crosses okay and after that so number of crosses that should be equivalent to what the bond it should be share with the other electron now so depending on the valence you know so valence you know that valence so basically what a halogens are monovalent oxygen family particularly are the divalent nitrogen is a trivalent so in this we can match the valences particular that okay so let's play the game here so first of all take the example of a methane okay so in methane so carbon is an central atom no doubt okay so then you know that if carbon is a central atom then the valence configuration should be what ns2 np2 so the total electron which are present in the carbon is an four right okay fine then we can make the four crosses so these left side crosses particularly from carbon 1 2 3 and 4 okay and similarly we have four hydrogen which are bonded to the carbon okay and each hydrogen have one electron that will be share with the one electron with carbon so in this way the four electron of the carbon share with the four electron of the hydrogen so in this way there is a formation of four bond pairs there is a formation of what four bond pairs now uh, ima now just recall that rule of hybridization or that is hybridization formula hybridization nothing but the number of sigma bond plus lone pair or the number of bond pair plus lone pair so here there is no lone pair is present only bond pair so total number of bond pairs are four so there is a zero lone pair so it should be sp3 that is 1s and 3p so there should be a tetrahedral geometry and it this is the beautiful picture of what methane molecule okay and the um, angle between the all carbon hydrogen carbon bond it should be what or hch bond is 109 degree 28 minutes so all the sp3 hybridized molecule having four bond pairs are an example of a triangular geometry okay so in this way we can have the different examples but look at this chart look at this rules now you can go to step by step first of all look the molecule identify the central atom arrange the valence electron in this fashion and then we can share with the bonded atom depending on the valence hydrogen is a monovalent okay like this okay let's we have the another example particularly from uh, the same uh, example same category we have ammonia nitrogen nitrogen is in the the ns2 np3 that is five electron make the five crosses we are mentioned the left side of the five crosses now how many bonded atoms are there there are three bonded atoms are there so we can we can uh, share with this three electron with uh, hydrogen so make the three bond pair now remaining two electrons are unhybridized they are not participate in the molecule formation and that electrons are called the on a shared electron they are available for donation and all that okay and they are act as a lone pair and now this three plus one so it is an four three bond pair plus one lone pair again number is four so sp3 tetrahedral geometry should be retain again tetrahedral but the shape is changes now here yeah, look at this one now the nitrogen lone pair will take the more area than what the bond pair so bond pair bond pair will become closer and lone pair will take the what the more region in the molecule that's why a molecule is is not a regular it is a distorted one that's why the bond angle should be decreased from 109 to 107 and that shape is called what the pyramid 
now methane is having tetrahedral shape as well as geometry but in this case the shape is shape is changes due to the lone pair similarly now and this is a structure of what the ammonia look at this one so lone pair will take the more region than what the bond pair still the hybridization is same now third example from the same category is water again water is oxygen central atom is oxygen so then find out the configuration ns2 np4 so in whole theory so the most important the character or feature is what the valence configuration okay then uh, the six valence electrons so make the six crosses now how many bonded atoms there are two hydrogen so hydrogen valence is one so two electrons from oxygen share with the what uh, two hydrogen and the remaining electrons are unshared so basically there are four electrons are unshared so two lone pair and two bond pair two plus two four again sp3 hybridization tetrahedral geometry and look this structure now okay now there are two lone pair we'll take this uh, the region okay and uh, the structure should be what the angular or v-shaped so in this way so the bond angle again reduced from what the 109 to 104 so look at this one so methane ammonia and water in this cases uh, the bond uh, the uh, hybridization is same geometry also same the shape is not different okay methane tetrahedral uh, ammonia pyramidal and uh, the lastly what the uh, the v shape okay so bond angle again reduced with the help with due to what the presence of lone pair so these are the three possible combination from sp3 now let's move to sp3 d so these are the three and four example okay look at the first example pcl5 second example sf4 third example clf3 and fourth example is anon difluoride so uh, in pcl5 phosphorus central atom five electron are the valence ns2 np3 so make the five crosses each chlorine will share the one electron so five bond pair zero lone pair structure should be triangular and bipyramidal and geometry is followed the uh, geometry is triangular and bipyramidal and sp3 d so angle should be 120 and 90. now let look the another example sf4 sulfur tetrafluoride in this case sulfur belongs to oxygen family so ns2 np4 uh, six are the valence electrons so make the six crosses and uh, similarly four are the bond pair so you can share with the four so four are uh, share with the sulfur so one pair is remain that is unshared and basically four plus one is a five again five that is sp3d and it is a trigonal bipyramid but the shape is different shape is seesaw here look at this lone pair will uh, will be at uh, one side and all the four bond pairs should be at the come closer so basically lone pair is present the structure should be called distorted and that type of the structure is called the seesaw now clf3 it is an interhalogen compound which in which the central atom is a larger in size for example chlorine and fluorine are the bonded atom in which uh, the chlorine is an ns2 mp5 uh, so uh, basically what fluorine is monovalent generally halogens are monovalent but from uh, down to what fluorine or below to fluorine all are the have may, the affinity to make the more bond so chlorine ns2 np5 seven are the valence electron make the seven crosses it will be shared the only three electron with fluorine so all the remaining are four are the vacant or four are the uh, can call unshared and so the three plus uh, two again five so sp3d triangular bipyramid and the shape should be t shape okay look this lone pair present in the molecule they get distorted and last example is x uh, e f2 now in case of what uh, xenon difluoride we have xenon in the central atom right so xenon is the central atom so ns2 np6 there are six electron are there so make the six crosses from that so six crosses nothing but so sorry eight crosses and in which only two fluorine are the bonded atoms so two share the electron with uh, xenon the remaining six electrons are unshared so three lone pair plus two bond pairs so number is five again sp3d and the geometry should be a tribunal bipyramid but the shape is linear okay now look the pcl5 and look the xcf2 the shape it changes why because of the low number of lone pair increases in pcl5 zero lone pair in second example one lone pair third example two lone pair last example four lone pair uh, sorry three lone pair in this way we have this type of structure now just imagine that we already told that we in the noble gas family no one element is what the having multivalency okay but xenon that is monovalence all the elements are monovalent but the xenon have the ability to form what the more bond because of the vacant uh, or f orbitals is present in that so these are the hybridizations and these are the chart which explain the psp3d all are the combinations are given here and uh, the listed the examples particularly here from there are the four combinations particularly from sp3d okay zero bond pair uh, zero, five bond pair zero lone pair four bond pair one lone pair three bond pair two lone pair and two bond pair three lone pair in this way we have what the four different types of body structures are possible and okay move toward the octahedral system that is sp3d first example is sp3d2 first example is sulfur hexafluoride sf6 now in sf6 sulfur is the central atom so six valence electron ns2 np6 and uh, each H electron from sulfur share with the fluorine so all are the bond pairs no lone pair is present so six bond pair so the structure is perfect octahedral so angle should be 90 degree and the structure is look like here like this okay four in a plane and two should be in a axial direction 
Second example is what uh, we have BRF5 that is intrahalogen compound again bromine is the central atom so 7 valence electrons so make the 7 crosses and 5 are the bond pair each electron of bromine share with the fluorine and uh, that's why 4 bond 5 bond pair plus 1 lone pair. Again 5 plus 1 6 so that's why hybridization is sp3 d2 octahedra should be the geometry but the shape is square pyramidal one of the fluorine which is present in the axial side that will be replaced here by lone pair okay. And another example from the same category is XCF4, xenon tetrafluoride, in which xenon is the central atom. The electron should be 8, make the 8 crosses and only out of the 8 electron, only 4 electrons share with the xenon. That's why 4 are what? Unshared. So, 4 means 2 lone pair. So, in this way, 4 plus 2, again 6, sp3d2 hybridization, okay, octahedral should be the geometry, but the shape is square plane. Both are the fluorine, which are present previous structure at their axial position that will be replaced by what the lone pair. And last example, I just mentioned that this is the pentagonal uh, bipyramidal geometry that is sp3d3 where 7 bond pairs are present, okay. First example is if7, again iodine is the central atom, so there are 7 valence electrons, so 7 electrons should be shared with the halogen, each halogen share the 1 electron, so in this way 7 bond pair. So 7 bond pair means uh, we have 7 number, 7 means 1 is 3p and 3d, so in this way sp3d3 and that's uh, geometry is called pentagonal bipyramidal. Second example from that category is XCF6 that is xenon hexafluoride which is just mentioned in the last of the slide. In XCF6 what we have xenon as a central atom we have 8 electron out of 8 electrons 6 uh, share with the fluorine and only 2 electrons are uh, uh, unshared and that is why the geometry should be again sp3d3 hybridization sp3d pentagonal monopyramidal okay that is one of the fluorine look at the if7 one of the fluorine from that axial side that will be replaced by lone pair. And last example is XCF5 negative. In XCF5 negative, now uh, another I just mentioned that if, uh, whenever in a molecule where negative charge is given, that we have to add on that number of electron. Or when a molecule having a uh, positive charge is given, we have to reduce that electron. Okay. In XCF5 negative, xenon 8 electron and 1 electron should be added due to the negative charge. 5 electrons should be shared, remaining are lone pair. So 5 plus 2 again 7. Now both the axial bond should be replaced by lone pair. So these are the three possible conditions particularly in sp3d3. Let us move to the some example first of all carbon dioxide you know that carbon is central atom ns2 mp2 4 electron are there and 2 oxygens are there every oxygen required 2 electron that is why 4 electron from the carbon share with the only 2 that is why habitation should be sp and linden. bf3 boron trifluoride we have boron is a central atom ns2 np1 so 3 electrons should be boron and 3 will be shared with the fluorine and that is why sp2 trigonal planar and the structure should be uh, this like this and geometry is called trigonal planar 120 is angle. Another example xenon tetrafluoride we have xenon belong to ns2 np6 say so the 8 el electrons are there and uh, the 2 electrons from the xenon will be shared with the 1 oxygen that is why because oxygen is divalent. So in this way we have 4 bond pair 4 bond pair means tetrahedral and the structure should be regular tetrahedral now cs3 plus okay cation methyl cation carbon is an sp3 now look this carbon ns2 np2 4 are the electron but out of the 4 1 is replaced due to the positive charge so that we can all the 1 is eliminated so only 3 electrons are remain here so 3 electrons share with the 3 hydrogen so hybridization bond, bond pair should be 3 no lone pair so 3 bond pair means sp2 that is in trigonal planar so all the cations are sp2 hybridized and trigonal planar now i3 negative ion in i3 negative ion one of the iodine is a central atom okay with along with the negative charge so i is uh, ns2 np5 7 electron plus 1 negative charge that is in total are the 8 electrons. So, 8 electron make the 8 crosses out of the 8 electron only 2 uh, of the electron should be shared with the uh, iodine uh, remaining are the lone pair. So, 2 bond pair 3 lone pair belong to sp3d and uh, the linear structure okay and geometry should be trigonal by pyramid okay. Now, these are the examples for you. So, just uh, yes, all uh, these are the some questions which are asked in previous exam identify the shapes of molecule. Uh, I3 negative, I3 plus, ICL2 plus and as XCF4 already most of the examples are explained in this slide. Among the following pairs having same hybridization, out of this 4 pairs, which pair is having what the same hybridization? SO3, SO2, BF3, CH4, PCL3, PCL5, SF4, SF6. And uh, last example is what among the following molecule have maximum number of lone pairs. This is the question which is in CSIR, you are also in uh, NEET, also in IIT JAM and also in NEET. Okay, that is why the many of the questions which are from this topic, okay, that is why do not be ignore this topic, it is very simple, just identify the central atom, make the valence electron, make the crosses and ju just share with the your bonded atom, okay. So, uh, in this way, uh, I am very much thank you again, uh, thankful to you people, so uh, thank you for watching again this uh, video.
uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel for more updates and uh, stay home stay safe thank you very much